ready? Uh, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. We're still here in DuPont State Forest in North Carolina. And today we're hitting one of my all-time favorite float trails, Ridgeline. This trail is incredibly iconic, so there's a very good chance you've heard of it. If you haven't, this is your cue to add it to the bucket list. The loop here is pretty manageable and you can climb to the entrance in a couple of ways. I have a video going up through Jim Branch to Hickory Mountain Loop, so instead today we're going to go down White Pine first. Despite being a green trail, it's an absolute blast. Freaking cold day here, but beautiful. The sun is out, a lot better than the rain yesterday. I guess I should explain. We had set out for four days of riding in North Carolina, but the rain didn't collaborate the first two days. Since her motto is open rain or shine, on day one we drove to Windrock Pike Park in Tennessee. We had an absolute blast, but as much as I wanted to, recording was impossible. It's unfortunate, as Windrock is still the steepest place I've ever ridden. On day two, based on recommendations from locals, we went to Pisgah and rode Laurel Mountain to Pilot Rock. Riding in 40 degree weather with light rain made it quite challenging. Stopping was nearly impossible if you wanted to stay warm. Despite that, the ride was great, and I know I'm going back to get some footage at some point. Anyhow, weather in the dry 30s is much more manageable to the wet 40s to me. Wow, this trail is fun. A little icy though. Woo. That was great. White pine. Okay, there we go, found my footing. After a short climb out of white pine, you'll find the entrance to Ridgeline, and that's where the real good stuff starts. This trail flows so well, you can almost do the whole thing without ever touching your brakes. Nice! God, I love this trail. So much flow. One of the great things about this trail is that it's perfect for all skill levels. It's so smooth you can take your non-mountain biking girlfriend to ride it and she will most probably not leave you. Warning, not responsible for any relationships. This is not endorsement or guarantee. Side effects may include but are not limited to long bikes, especially about abandoning some of the trail. Pressure to sell your bikes and decrease in shreddiness. How hard this trail is really depends on how fast you're going. So it's an awesome place to progress on relaxing on the bike and letting it go more. You're bound to have fun here whether you're starting or you're a seasoned rider. Big f***ing berm! Little rut.
That tree looked pretty worn, so I'm thinking I haven't been the only one to clip his bars there. As you get to the bottom, the trail flattens out and you can get your breath back. If you're still craving more, go up for another lap or two. On this day, it just wasn't in the plans. The cold had drained all our energy. Yeah, that was great. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the follow cam down Ridgeline. Steven really helped me out here to get a new perspective on the trail I had already covered with the follow cam. So what's the Instagram if you want to check it out? Send it. Ready. All together. If you stop by, tell them blind stuff MTV said hello. Yeah, it was cold enough that droppers were freezing up. Well guys, see you for the next one. Happy riding. Oh shit! Oh my bad dude. <laughs> I'll give it ah. Alright, we're Let's get the out of here. Jeffsy and seatless Jeffsy? No, that's the twos. <laughs> the twos. <laughs> <laughs>